Welcome to this edition of Access Together. These shows are made possible through the combined efforts of Shelby County Schools and GHS-TV. The shows are hosted by the members of the community and utilize the staff and facilities of Germantown High School. If you would like to watch our live stream or get more information about these shows, log on to our website, ghstv.org. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the following presentation. Welcome to Inspiring Leaders. I'm Donna Chandler Newman, your host for our show, and thank you for watching our program. Through this show, we meet community leaders and we examine how they're using their unique talents and skill sets to make a difference. And through our discussions, we hope to inspire others to discover and to share their own leadership abilities for the overall betterment of our community. Now, today's show focuses on family and fun. And yes, we're talking about the venerable Germantown Charity Horse Show. For 70 years now, this organization has promoted a family-friendly event that's downright fun for all. And what do they do with the profits for this terrific annual event? Well, they donate them to other nonprofit organizations within our community, and most recently to the Exchange Club Family Center, an organization that helps families with resilience, relationships, and healing. And that's a goal worthy of our attention and support. Besides, where else do you go to have such a fun, and family-oriented, fun, fun, fun event, and know that you're doing some good along the way. Now, in this first portion of our show, we'll meet Bill Dudley, President, and Ross Heron, Vice President and Sponsorship Chair for the Germantown Charity Horse Show. And in the second segment of our show, President Bill Dudley will stay with us and will be joined by the organization's secretary, Linda Smith. Joining us now, Bill Dudley, President, and Ross Heron, Vice President and Sponsorship Chair for the Germantown Charity Horse Show. Welcome, gentlemen. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great, I'm so glad that you're here today. Well, thank, thank you for having us. I'm so really glad to see you. Really appreciate it. Well, completely love the Germantown Horse Show. Um, I gotta tell you, I grew up here, and so it's always been in my mind and in my heart, so I'm excited about the next, um, next month's event. So, all right, let's begin talking about it. Bill, first of all, let me ask you, how in the world did you become involved with the Germantown Charity Horse Show. You, you know, it all started with, uh, and I told you the story the other day about, we went to a circus in Greenville, Mississippi, and when we left the circus, there was a, a ring of ponies outside, and our daughter said, gee, can I ride the pony? And I made the fatal mistake of saying, oh, sure, what can that hurt? <laughs> and then she got into the horse business, and she stayed in it and did through the, the charity show and others throughout the region in her, in her teenage years and so we've been fooling with horses now for almost 40 years. And you didn't even live here then. Didn't even live here and we subsequently moved near here and she kept her horses here in Germantown. We made a weekly uh, pilgrimage over here every Saturday and Sunday to ride her horses. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm, I'm glad you became associated Thank with you. the organization and I know they are as well. Yeah. So Ross, how long have you been involved with the organization and how did you get involved? Well, I uh, been involved with the horse show primarily most of my life, not all my life. Uh, my grandmother, Nancy Livermore, showed uh, five gated American saddle bred. My mother, Kathy Livermore, showed hunter jumper, and I have a younger brother that uh, showed hunter jumper as, as well. And uh, so we were brought up attending the Germantown Charity Horse Show, and over the years, um, you know, got involved and loved it, and uh, still love it today. Like any of your children ride or not? Uh, just for pleasure. None of them show competitively. Ah, I see. But still wonderful fun. Still wonderful fun. And it's still a family, family fun event too, isn't it? One of the best around. I think it is. I think it is. Okay, you're celebrating your 70th year. Yes. Talk to me about the history of the organization. You know, the, the Germantown Chitty Horse Show started in, in the late 40s, and it became a... Uh, a combined effort of the Oak Grove Hunt and the Germantown Civic Club. 
uh, prior to the horse show, the Civic Club had a, had a carnival and they raised money and they donated to charities. There came to be a merger between Oak Grove Hunt and the Civic Club to, to have shows and, and abandon their carnival and, and focus their attention on the Germantown Charity Horse Show. And uh, uh, Bart Mueller was one of the uh, original founders. He was the master of the fox hunt for uh, Oak Grove Hunt and several other community leaders uh, were a part of that. And they elected five members from Oak Grove Hunt and five members from the, uh, the Germantown Civic Club to become the new nucleus of the Germantown Char Charity Horse Show. And through the years, the goal has always been with any profits that are there to donate them to charity. It was also a goal to make sure that it was set up to have this show to the extent possible in perpetuity. And so the, the long range planning that they did then, the seeds that they planted at that time, have continued to uh, mature and, and, and allow us to have the show very successfully, I should say, for the last 70 years. Well, I haven't gone for 70 years, but I have gone all my life, yeah. <laughs> as long as I've lived here. And right. it, it truly is everything that you it say, is. and plus fun, lots it is of fun. fun. <laughs> well, all right, so that's the history of the show, and 70 years later it's very different in many yes, ways and very the same, which we'll talk about in a bit. But for now, what do you all think that the mission of the organization is? Our, our mission is to have a fun, fun, fun family event that anybody can go to at any time, be there, be safe, enjoy it, have good food, meet their friends there, to enjoy the horses and, and they're wonderful to watch and, and, and to be able to have uh, funding for the charities. Uh -huh. So that, you know, the, the horses are wonderful horses, but that is a vehicle for funding our charity. Gotcha. Now there are some things that are very different about this horse show from others. It's like a notch above, isn't it? Th this is one of the largest, if not the largest, all breed horse shows. Most horse shows have either hunter jumpers or western pleasure or walking horses or something of that nature. We have all breeds. Uh -huh. that, that's one thing. And the secondly is under the USEF, U.S. Equestrian Foundation, we, have, we are now a heritage horse show. What that means is we've achieved a standard uh, that transcends most other shows. There are some 2,500 shows uh, in the U.S. every year under USEF. We're one of 22 or 23 uh, heritage rated shows, which means we, we have a history. We have standards that exceed most other uh, shows. We have facilities. We have leadership and we have a, a, a mission that uh, sets us apart. We're in the same category as, as Devon, uh, Penn National, Penn Oak in Houston, major shows, Keswick Hunt, people like that. So we're, it puts us in the upper echelon of horse shows. And what a treat for it to be here in Germantown. It is. Now what you were naming a minute ago, all breeds and I mean, and I know it's competitive. Yes. So you're talking judges, trophies, ribbons, et cetera, which are expensive. They are expensive. So that brings us to you, Ross. Uh, you are the vice president and the sponsorship <coughs> chair um, as well. And yes. so talk to me about what it means to be a sponsor. Well, to be a sponsor, um, you are contributing and in, in buying into this fun, fun, fun in, in, in the history of Germantown. We have, on average, about 30,000 attendees throughout the week. Wow. And um, it doesn't take much to become a sponsor. Uh-huh. You know, for, we, we will take any amount. Uh, but we do have uh, sets, uh, uh, levels of sponsorship. Uh -huh. And you can start out as little as $50 to sponsor uh, a breeds class and uh, 100 jumper classes start out at $200 and go up to $1,500. And we have major sponsors. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, it's, again, you're buying into the community and uh, becoming a part of our heritage. You know, it, um, it truly surprised me to hear that you took as little as $50. Um, I really didn't realize you could be a sponsor for as Absolutely. little as that. And you'll take as much as 25000 but you don't actually, you'll take more, right? We'll take all you have. That's right. 
<laughs> so get my checkbook out, right? Yeah. No, honestly, it's such a great cause and such a fun event. You're right, it is part of our heritage, and that's a very, very good thing. Mm -hmm. So um, as a sponsor, are there some benefits that come along with it? Uh, yes, uh, depending on the level of sponsorship uh, from the uh, breed sponsorship, which starts out at $50, and uh, goes up to $500. You get your name in the program. Mm -hmm. uh, the Hunter Jumper sponsors and other class sponsors that start out at $200 and go up to $1,500. Uh, your name's in the program. Uh, the announcer announces your name throughout the show. Oh, wow. Uh, we have sponsorship uh, leaderboards posted at uh, the both main entrances. So your name is, uh, the spectators are coming and going. Mm -hmm. uh, your, your name is, is, is shown. Uh, we also have a program that is put together and uh, the sponsors are listed in our show program. Well, it, you know, that surprises me. All right, at the <laughs> I know this is a dangerous thing to do, but I'm gonna ask you, some of your bigger sponsors, um, both give money and they give things that are in kind. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me just a little bit about that? Sure, um, the in kind, uh, we'll start with that, is primarily food. Uh, our judges come in uh, from out of state and we have other officials that come in and we, we look to local restaurants mm -hmm. and uh, uh, vendors to provide lunches, breakfast, dinner, um, hotels. Mm -hmm. Hotels are a major, major cost, mm -hmm. and, and we tried to our best to try to get an in-kind donation from a hotel. Doesn't always work out that way. Uh, hotels, particularly here in Memphis, uh, Memphis has been a very busy city, and uh, uh, it's been a little difficult. But um, you know, as far as in-kind, we gosh and cars, cars, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Sunrise uh, dealership on Houston Levy. Uh, they provide about five cars for our officials and a car for our queen to uh, to drive as well. Oh my goodness, we're going to talk about queens and all in our next segment. I remember that <coughs> part very vividly. Um, so you support a number of charities, most recently the Exchange Club Family mm -hmm. Center. How yes. did y'all decide on that? Y you know, through the years we've always chosen charities that benefit our local community. Uh, there are lots and lots of charities, uh, it, even right here in Memphis. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, don't, I have no idea how many there are, but I know it's a lot. Mm -hmm. But we try to uh, develop a relationship with a charity that, 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 that provides work and effort to what we do. For example, the Exchange Club produces the program, and that is a huge, huge effort. They sell ads, they get them printed, they get all the, 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 the verbiage and the schedules correct. And, and, and so we, we, we vet these uh, charities and make sure that they're spending their money most effectively. Thank you guys so much for being with us today. You do wonderful work in the community and I appreciate you being on our show today. Bill, will you stay with me a few? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and Ross, I wanna thank you once more for being with us and uh, thank you for the great work. Well, thank you, Donna. We truly appreciate this opportunity. Well, look forward to seeing you at the show. I'm gonna be there. I look forward to seeing y'all as well. Good. Now we're going to pause now for a short break. When we return, Bill and I will be joined by Linda Smith, Secretary for the Germantown Charity Horse Show. The favorite part of the horse show is watching the horses themselves perform and they are really amazing. We are so blessed in this area to have so many people that support our sport and to have such a unique venue here in West Tennessee is so important. I think there's a lot of great things that go on here. We um, support a lot of charities and I think that's really important, as well as just showing off this amazing town. This is really just the way to show the time and effort that they put in and what they're able to do with their results. This sport, particularly at an event like this, there's good prize money, um, there's a lot of prestige around this horse, particularly locally, so it's uh, really neat to be winning at the charity. I think the show benefits the community in every way possible that it can because it is well known from what I understand nationwide. We have a total of seven horse shows in West Tennessee a year that are um, 
A rated, which is a national rating. There are many other shows that are qualified as schooling shows, but to gain points on a national level. Um, so yes, the Germantown Cherry is sort of the pinnacle for that. To have this facility here and to be able to use it is really amazing. To, and when you see the people that come from out of town, New York or Missouri or Georgia, I think it says a lot about uh, Germantown and the horse show itself. You're watching the award-winning GHS TV, a nationally recognized student television station. Welcome back. We're pleased to continue talking with Bill Dudley, president of the Germantown Charity Horse Show, and to meet Linda Smith, secretary of their executive committee, as we continue learning more about the Germantown Charity Horse Show. Well, thank you for staying, Bill, and welcome, sure. Linda. Thank you. We've known each other quite a while, haven't we? We have. We yeah. have indeed. And it's, it very, it's, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Well, I'm so glad to see you as well. It's really uh, wonderful to see you in yet another environment wearing another hat for Germantown Charity Horse Show. Exactly. So let me ask you this. You choose to be involved with the horse show. You have been involved for a long time. How did you get involved? And um, why do you stay involved? Well, uh, like, like Ross, I was listening to Ross in your first segment. Um, I grew up around the Germantown Charity Horse Show. Um, my story is that my aunt, Frances Smith, mm -hmm. um, was originally involved in one of the predecessor entities, Oak Grove Hunt Club. She was the secretary of that. And with the horse show, Germantown Charity was the ring secretary uh, in the early years, in the early 50s. Mm -hmm. And I can remember as a child um, being dragged to the horse mm -hmm. show on a Saturday afternoon when it was about 150 degrees outside. And the only way we would go was she would promise us a pronto pup at the end of, <laughs> at, at the end of our stay. Um, and then many years passed, and um, in the early 2000s, she asked me to, uh, I had just moved back to Memphis and she'd asked me to um, join the Germantown Charity, which was a tremendous honor for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been a part of it ever since. I was the president in uh, 2008 for the 60th anniversary. And uh, now I'm just very pleased to serve as secretary. Well, so I, here I am. <laughs> well, you continue to say, it's like a family, you it all, is, isn't it? Is it is very much like a family. family. Yeah, I was gonna say it. And there's so many people at the horse show that I go and see every year. Mm -hmm. I may not see them the rest of the year, but I will always see them there. And it's a homecoming. Yes. Yeah, it is it's kind of like a homecoming, yes. isn't it? Even mm -hmm. when I lived out of town, yes. I yeah. used to come back. So that yeah. was wonderful. 70 years, that's a long time. It is. So that means two things. It first of all means that there have indeed been changes, which we'll talk about, but there are many traditions involved. Talk about some of the traditions of the horse show. Goodness, we have so many. Um, you know, I, I, I would say just to start off, you know, our exhibitors, you know, we have about 750 exhibitors with their teams coming in every year. Mm -hmm. So many of those exhibitors come from all over the Southeast and as far away as, as, as California. Mm -hmm. So many of those exhibitors come back year after year after yeah, year. Our spectators come from all over the Southeast. Um, we have a lot of people who, who are local. But as Ross said earlier, you know, we averaged between 25 and 30,000 people during that, during that show week. Mm -hmm. um, so those are some of the, I guess, some of the more critical um, and, and most important to dear to our heart traditions of the show, mm -hmm. you know, just during show week. You also have the royal ball. You have a queen. You have princesses. Mm -hmm. Tell me how all that got started. Oh, great. Um, so our queen, th this, is a, this is an interesting story, and I'm not, Bill, I'm not sure if you even knew about this. Our queen started in 1967. And I hate to say this, but it started out as a beauty pageant early yeah. on. And it probably served as a beauty pageant for perhaps the first 10 years. And then it got to just be something that um, our ladies wanted to do. So every year, a secret committee of the Germantown Charity Horse Show selects a queen. Um, and it is her distinct pleasure to serve um, during that mm -hmm. year. She serves during Horse Show Week. She's presented during the Queen's Ball, or Royal Ball as we mm -hmm. call it, in March. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it's, it's quite an honor to be queen. And then in addition to that, we have our princesses, up to 25 princesses, um, who are supported um, by various and sundry clubs and organizations in the Germantown and uh, Memphis area. And those uh, young ladies, uh, can really fulfill their service hours at school, um, and it's quite a, a wonderful thing to put on their resume when they when they go to college. I think so too. As a matter of fact, I was in that first group that uh, had the beauty contest going on. No, I did not win, and I didn't get to serve as a as a princess, which I 
distressed me. We're but I, yeah, both me and uh, my sister, we were both in that. Mm. And but my niece and my daughter both served as princesses and really enjoyed it. Yes, they truly did. It was wonderful. In fact, my niece um, served as queen in two thousand and seven or eight, I think. Mm -hmm. And they loved it. It was just a wonderful right. experience. Yeah, the volunteer hours are wonderful. You also get to know a different group of ladies or girls than you would have known, mm -hmm. uh, and they enjoy that. One of the other things that they enjoy, and I think is still a tradition for you all, is the people mover, isn't that? Who does that people mover? You, you know, the people mover is a, is a trailer, if you will, that uh, Jimmy Chancellor, one of our uh, longtime members, made, he fabricated out of, I think it started out as a cotton wagon, <laughs> and he extended it and built it, has benches and seats and a cover over it, and they have a tractor that, you, that rides around and picks up people at the parking lot at Germantown High School and delivers them to the show and vice versa. And, and, and the, the princesses go around before the show and deliver tickets to the, the people in the neighborhood and invite them to the show. So that, that's, that's really a, a, a fun time. And, and another one, we have a, a father-daughter cookout, which is going to be uh, Sunday the 22nd, where they, the fathers and daughters can come out and kind of get a good feel for the site and what we're talking about. And of course, while they're there, we might ask the fathers if they want to become sponsors too. <laughs> so we, we just might ask them that. So it, it, it's really a, a fun time. And then uh, it, one of the things that a lot of people may not know, if you stay really, really late on Saturday night, uh, after the last class is over, everybody that's still there gets out in the middle of the ring and does the hokey pokey. <laughs> Well, I've actually never stayed that late, and this should, year I may very that. well. You should do that. <laughs> I know it's full of traditions, so yeah. that's what. But there are also new things going on too. Talk to me about the new things. Lots, lots of things have transpired through the years with the, you know, the original 16 acres of land and the original arena, the second 16 acres with the hunter jumper rings over to the to the east side. We've had. Uh, several uh, pavilions built by donors. Uh, in fact, we had two built this past year. One, uh, the hospitality pavilion by the uh, main arena and a second uh, pavilion down at the uh, Hunter Jumper Ring to give a permanent covered area so people can sit, get out of the sun, they can have a party there, they can in invite their friends and neighbors to come by and visit with them. And it makes a, a really nice uh, uh, venue for that. And we have some other plans for the future that we're going to be going into as a part of the Parks and Recreation Master Plan. But that's those are long-term plans. I was going to say, you have quite an interesting relationship with the city of Germantown. We do. We do. And, and first of all, you have a huge impact. What we were talking about earlier, yes, it costs money to run this, but it's Cost a big impact. The, the economic impact, uh, as estimated by the University of Memphis, is $1.75 million a year on first turns. And then as it turns, it, it could be as much as three and a half or four million dollars as the money churns from one, one person to another. And that money is food, it's hotel rooms, it's gasoline, it's uh, souvenirs, it's miscellaneous purchases that people may make while they're here. Because people, most of the people that are there come from someplace other than the immediate area. And even if you live and hey, keep your horses within close distance, you still come and place your horses there. So, you, you know, you buy extra feed, you buy shavings, you buy all these things, and it's $1.75 million a year. It's a very tidy sum. Yes, it is. And mm -hmm. the city of Germantown is quite generous as well with their police officers. They do. They, they, uh, the city of Germantown supports us wholeheartedly, and we appreciate that more than they'll ever know. Uh, we, they, we do certain maintenance tasks down there. The city does certain other maintenance tasks. The, that land was donated to the city of Germantown by the Civic Club, and uh, we have a more or less perpetual lease on that land, and it was given to the city with the understanding it would always be uh, an equestrian venue. Mm -hmm. I see. So, and you have upgraded bleachers. You have upgraded. We put new bleachers in. As I mentioned, these two pavilions were, you know, very generously donated by different people. Uh, a lot of things like that that go on all the time. We, we talk about our in-kind uh, donors. We had someone just donate us donate fifteen hundred dollars worth of LED light bulbs for our barns. Oh wow! I mean, it's, you know, lots and lots and lots of little things like that that all add up to be very, very 
significant. Absolutely. Yes. You know, one thing we haven't addressed through all of this is that every one of you are volunteers. Every one of us volunteers. There are no paid employees. Everybody we pay are contract employees, and we do our very, very best to make sure that we spend our money wisely. Because when you keep expenses down and keep sponsorships high, That's you have right. more to give they away. Have more money to give Absolutely. to your charity. One of the things that amazes me, because you're giving to the charities, but you also want it to be a fun family event. We do. Your admission price is very, very low. It is. Uh, tell me the dates of the show and how do I get tickets? The, the show dates are June 5th through the 9th. That's Tuesday through Saturday. If you come during the daytime, it's free. Really? Parking is free. Parking is always free. Tickets are $5, I think it is, Linda. For adults, $3 uh, for and children. Then, and little bitty kids are free. And, you know, if somebody really can't afford to pay, I bet we can find a deal for them. So, you know, that, that's the dates, and uh, typically the main arena uh, uh, showing starts around 5 o'clock, 5.30, and on Saturday the Grand Prix starts at 4 o'clock or 4.30, depending on how many horses there are in, involved in that. And we'll, people will be having sponsorship parties, and we, before that they have uh, exhibitors parties, and uh, gosh, different people are there for the leadership. Drummertown alumni has, a, yeah. has an event there, I think, on Wednesday nights, I believe it is. So, yeah, we're, we're there, and we have a great time. We enjoy, we enjoy each other. And, and, and if you happen to be an early riser, our, our morning classes for Hunter Jumper with all the little kids mm -hmm. starts at 7.30 a.m. <clears throat> and runs till around 3 or 3.30 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. well, that so like you have, you have two, two different opportunities to go every day. Well, yeah. that sounds like great fun. Yeah, and, and we, we have, you know, coffee and donuts in the morning. We have ice cream socials in the afternoon. We have wine and cheese. We have two major exhibitor uh, dinners through the week. And, and, you know, one of the things that, that I have found is the reason, one of the main reasons that people keep coming back to our show as opposed to some others is our hospitality. Mm -hmm. We do our very, very best to be as nice and kind and friendly to our, our exhibitors and our, our uh, uh, sponsors and to our, our, our visitors as we possibly can to keep them coming back. Well, that's the Southern way, and that's another thing that's that sets apart the German Dead Charity Horse that's Show. That's what sets us apart. Well, thank you all so much for being such a wonderful, oh. fun organization that actually gives back to the community as well. Thank, thank you, all. Donna, for allowing us to be here to talk about our favorite event. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Donna. I'm looking forward to coming, too. Come on down. Good. Thank you all so much. And thank you for being with us today for Inspiring Leaders. We appreciate our guests on today's show, Bill Dudley, Ross Heron, and Linda Smith, all representing the Germantown Charity Horse Show. Now, if what you've heard on our program today has inspired you to learn more, to become involved, or to become a sponsor of the Germantown Charity Horse Show, then please visit their website, gchs.org, GermantownCharityHorseShow.org, gchs.org. As a reminder, the Germantown Charity Horse Show will be held on Tuesday, June the 5th through Saturday, June the 9th this year, and I'll see you there. Now, if you're interested in the air dates of Inspiring Leaders or of any other show on our television station, you can visit ghstv.org where we're streaming live 24 hours a day. You can keep up with GHS TV by visiting our website. We hope you'll like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you again for joining us and be sure to watch our show again next season as we present more Inspiring Leaders.